You know they probably do a square on the rail. You know the deal. Start the revolution. What's good? How y'all doing? It's your boy Slim Pickens, straight from the city of Boston. We're gonna bring this to you every week, you know. Giving you the news updates of what's going on around in Boston and the surrounding areas of the hip hop world. Uh, today, we got my man O, OVM, Overmotivated DVD. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're going to speak to him. Introduce yourself, sir. All right, here we go. Sub Zero, aka George Bush of the Block, the Commander in Chief. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. CEO, you know, co CEO of Overmotivated Incorporated, you know what I mean? Editor in chief of the Overmotivated DVD, Boston Streets Edition, Boston, y'all know me, holla at me, Springfield, all y'all know me, Worcester, y'all know me, Albany, y'all know me. It is what it is, you know? Alright, alright, that's what it is. So, um, Overmotivated DVD, huh? Okay, tell us yes, a little sir. something, you know, tell, tell the world. A little something about overmotivated DVD. What does it actually entail? You know what I mean? Um, give a little breakdown, like everything. Okay. The whole, the structure, the the content. You understand what I'm saying? What you looking, for, what you looking to do and expose to the world. Overmotivated basically is like, uh, basically it's a conglomerate of things. It started off as just a real hood. DVD magazine. We we wasn't actually a DVD magazine. It's a VCD because that was the capable we had. You know the capabilities we had. We were putting we were running around with the can basically, running around having a good time. You know, we was always trying to find something to get into. Mm -hmm. It was me. It was running around with my man, you know, Dionysus, my man Half Moon. You know what I'm saying? My man Jay Nicks, my homegirl Thriller. We was always running around looking for shit to get into. And we always had the can, but we turned it into a DVD thing. You know what I mean? Kind of like the smack DVDs, but we did it for the hood. It was like real street. It really wasn't too crazy, it wasn't too edited, nothing like that. You know, it grew though. We got like a little readership, like heads was feeling it. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? You put the hood on cam, you break the camera out, you know how it goes. So, yeah, that's how it grew. It grew from there. I mean, we got more organized with the DVD. It turned to a DVD magazine. And we, we had so many episodes out, it turned more like a television show. You know what I'm saying? How did you come up with that, that, that actual structure concept to do like, kind of like scratching on a video? You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like the man, the man does the 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 turn turntablism with the video. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how did you come up with that? Like, that? okay, basically now that's that's basically I would have to get into it. I have to talk about the influences. You know what I'm saying? I basically have to start. Um, I had to get props first of all to smack. You know what I'm saying? Just the inspiration to like, you know what I mean? Take the hood, yeah. put the hood. You know what I mean? To video to music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The hood's been creating music. But also, um, a lot of people don't know street video mix. DJ Lust, VJ9 Double, you know what I'm saying? They coming out the beat and they nationwide and they was doing their thing, but they was doing it with industry, industry beats, you know what I'm saying? Industry music and they would take a song that you had heard before and create a new song, you know what I mean? Literally create a new song, you know what I'm saying? From, from songs, from pop songs. Yeah, yeah. So, so we kind of like, you know, we take the hood and we create new songs, you know what I mean? From the hood, the yeah, interviews, yeah. you know what I mean? From yeah, what we yeah. working with. Yeah, yeah. You smell me? That's what's up. Yeah. That's hot. I like that. I'm, I'm digging that. You know yeah, you smell me? Yeah, like most of them are usually. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, how you came to this point here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Meeting up with me. You know what I'm okay. saying? Slim Pickens, DGF Records. All right, well. Basically, now this is where I'm gonna keep it funky for you. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get real live and up close and personal. So, this is the story. Now this is the part where I get to get my shit off. Normally I'm humble. <laughs> my you know, Cash Flow. He's the co-CEO of DGF Six One Seven Records. How it basically came to the point where it's at team over motivated. We've been growing. We we only fuck with people that make moves. You know what I'm saying? And either you produce, you dance, you rap, you a thug. You just want to carry equipment and bang when it comes time. Whatever it comes time. Yo, we just growing the movement, you smell me? And, 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 and the movement growing the way it is, if we growing as fast as we growing, another movement growing like us, we gonna naturally, we gonna cross paths. And real respect real, so you know what I'm saying? My man Dionysus basically, you know what I'm saying, grew up, we all from the hood. So you know, you know what I'm saying, Boston's small when you look at it that way, you know what I'm saying? And um, my man Dionysus, you know, grew up uh, with my boy, um, the only, you know what I'm saying, he's the, other uh, CEO DGF six one seven records, and they they you know real recognize <coughs> real you know what I'm saying they they bonded they built you know you know what I'm saying only being yo Dionysus being the general just kind of came together you know what I mean and then you know eventually I I got brought into the fold I met O and through O just respecting his grind but seeing him grinding every day I like I run into the I be I have my daughter with me we go to Walgreens to go out front 
grinding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's a true story though. Okay. Like I was, you know what I'm saying? I was going through some research, looking at different software, whatever. I stopped at Office Max where I see, oh again, grinding, you know what I'm saying? Getting it in, printing up, you know what I'm saying? Flyers, um, CD, DVD labels, the whole nine. Then, um, that's how I met Castro at the same time. His reputation preceded him. I had already heard about him. His name was already buzzing in the streets. You know, Hetzel already told me who he was and what he's capable of. I met Castro grinding the same way. He was in there getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Like how we do. You know, real heads don't sit down and talk about it all day. We get out yeah. the huddle and get it done. So that's why I that's where I met Castro, you know what I'm saying? Getting it done. Since then we've been really just building, you know what I mean, bringing it to another level. I mean, he do music, we got OVM music, you know. They already had a DVD on and popping. We got a DVD on and popping, so it was just it only made sense to real respect real that we come together and it it just meshed like that. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now the new project is, and this is the project that ain't nobody trying to see right now. It's the Boston's hardest artist, DGF 617 Records, overmotivated DVD. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mixed out, but it's it's with the hood. You know what I mean? There's no million dollar budgets here. The budget that we working with here, for real, is whatever we got in our pockets, for real. I'm not lying, like what we got in our pockets, what we do? You tell, oh, what does it normally take to get it cracked? You know what I'm saying, $15, a couple of um, digital video tapes, mm -hmm. and a few brews, and we get it cracking. That's okay. how we do it. That's okay. how we do it, and that's the budget right there. The budget's whatever you got in your pocket. Yeah. So that's how we getting it in. I mean, I'm saying I'm not working with much. Like, I, I ain't flashing, because it's like right now, like, look, 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 you know, like what, 30-something dollars. <laughs> then, you know what I'm saying, well, like, you know what I'm saying, I go in a small pocket, what do I got? Like, if we really want to get it popping through yeah, a party, yeah. I got another couple hundred dollars, and that'd be the end of it. But yeah. this is what we working with. We in the streets, but yeah. we changing the industry because we get it in. Yeah. Now, I know y'all tired of them dudes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not hating, but y'all tired of the talk? We get out the huddle, baby. One, two, three, execute. We here, so, you know what I'm saying? That's the point we at now. So now this is the, you know what I'm saying? DGF 617, overmotivated. It's crazy. More it's music. crazy. More music, more visual, you know, more shows. Everything today, everything coming, 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 like coming, 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 fast as fuck, right there. And, and we bringing the music scene back to Roxbury, man. Oh, back to Roxbury, oh, you know. Yeah. I mean, and, and shout out some love, you know what I'm saying? Cambridge, Western Front, yeah. you know, the whole nine, everywhere, with everybody that's been holding it down. Middle East, upstairs, Paradise. Middle East, downstairs, Paradise. Shout out to, and respect to everybody that's holding it down, doing it. But we bringing it right back to Roxbury. Y'all remember the sky cap? Y'all mm. remember how we was doing it? Mm. We bringing it all real back home, home. And, and, and like you could say it's all talk, but for real, you pop this. You know what I mean? Smell it. You come check this channel out. You come check this online channel. You check yes. the DVD. You check it in six months and see where it is. Smell me. We're all about getting out the huddle, dog. Mm. We execute, dog. You know what I'm talking? Oh, AKA Sub Zero, over motivated. DVD. Understand that. Understand that. Understand that. Understand that. Start the revolution. Catch your body. Happy Houston on the rail. All these crap niggas know the deal. When we start the revolution, all they probably do is swear on the rail. They know the deal. Start the revolution. Catch your body. Happy Houston. The breaks are hard times. All I find is snakes. I'm at the bottom, at the back of the line. Climb for them crumbs and cake. Choices. Fuck with bundles of weight. Wait for the jungle to quake. Take the humble route. I use my mind and mouth. I make the world.